NFL Today on CBS Sports is presented by Southwest. Yes to low fares with nothing to hide. That's transparency. And welcome back to the NFL Today. Right now, the Chiefs and Falcons are getting set for their matchup. And as we approach kickoff, let's send you out live to Atlanta with our announcers, Greg Gumbel, Trent Green, and Jamie Erdahl. JB on tap today here in the Georgia Dome. The Kansas City Chiefs and the Atlanta Falcons. Two teams playing well and looking for the playoffs. He'll make a move. Taylor Gabriel, 10, 5, touchdown. The Falcons are winners today, 38-19. Going right is Tyreek Hill into the end zone. Touchdown! It's caught Demetrius Harris. The Chiefs tie up with 12 seconds to go. Santos's kick is good, and the Kansas City Chiefs have won in overtime. In that hotly contested AFC West, the Chiefs have won six of their last seven and are a game back of the Oakland Raiders. In the NFC South, the Falcons have won three of four and lead their division by one game. With that, we say hello and welcome to the Georgia Dome, everyone. Greg Gumbel, Trent Green, Jamie Erdahl will patrol the sidelines for us. We're up for this game. Nothing better than two good teams going head-to-head. -head. And for the Falcons, Trent, I don't know if you can find many guys playing the game much better than quarterback Matt Ryan is. Two good teams and one good quarterback at playing at an MVP level. When you look at Matt Ryan, the numbers he's putting up, third in the National Football League in yards and touchdowns, continues to spread the ball around, and really he's adapting in the second-year system with Kyle Shanahan. Here against the Saints, they have eight people pressuring man-to-man -man on the outside with a deep safety. Matt Ryan with the play-action pass leads the National Football League in play-action passes, passing yardage. The Saints here bringing pressure. He's able to maintain that focus and get the ball down the field to Julio Jones. And Julio Jones is a great target when you talk about a 6'3", 220-pound receiver that can make all of the catches. He's fast enough to go vertical. He's big enough to go in and make the tough catches. So when you're looking at big plays from the Atlanta Falcons, they lead the National Football League with 56 plays over 20 yards. Most of those big plays are going to Julio Jones. Yeah, number 11's a handful. Now, in the AFC West, everybody's talking about the Oakland Raiders, and rightly so, but you cannot overlook a Kansas City team led by Alex Smith. Well, Alex Smith does everything that Andy Reid wants him to do. He's not going to have the mind-blowing numbers like a Matt Ryan, but he's very efficient with the football. He completes a high percentage of his throws. He doesn't turn the ball over. You see the touchdown-to-interception ratio is always one of the best in the National Football League, and the bottom line is he wins football games, and that's exactly what Andy Reid wants him to do. Now, that's the offense. What a boost the defense has gotten with the midseason return of Justin Houston. Well, there's a lot of people that thought Justin Houston wasn't going to be able to make it back this season because of the knee injury, but two weeks now, he's been back on the field last week against Denver three sacks, the crucial sack that set up the safety at the beginning of the ball game to get them on the board. You have to remember, D Ford, second in the National Football League in sacks, is back this week as well, so those are two good bookends. All right, time for the Home Depot Tools for Success for this first Sunday of December. Well, for the Kansas City Chiefs, we're going to talk about Tyreek Hill. Last week came on the national scene with a touchdown return in the kicking game, rushing and receiving. And for the Atlanta Falcons, it's the young defense. A number of the players on that side of the ball, first and second year players, are getting better each week with their attack. You see for the Atlanta Falcons, additionally, the two-headed the two -headed monster of Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman running the ball and catching the ball from out of the backfield for Matt Ryan and the Kansas City Chiefs, Marcus Peters, once again, one of the NFL leaders in interceptions. As I said, check your calendar. It's the first Sunday of December. Two excellent teams. One figures to take a hit to its playoff push here today. The Kansas City Chiefs, the Atlanta Falcons, here on CBS, and we have more from the Georgia Dome coming your way after this message and a word from your local station.